Okay, so we're gonna review the deep urogenital anatomy of the male cat. So first, just wanna move the intestines to one side to expose the kidney area. Up here, you have this round structure. This is gonna be known as your kidney. Usually on the kidney, you're gonna have some glands sitting on top of it, which are gonna be known as your adrenal glands, but they've been removed in this cat because it's been dissected out. This cord following down from the kidney is going to be known as your ureter. Going down from there, it's going to meet this structure here. This structure is going to be known as your bladder. Following below the bladder, the cord is then going to become your urethra. And you're going to be coming across this structure here. It's going to be firm and round-like. And since it's a male cat, it's going to be known as your prostate. The, following that, the cord is then going to become your urogenital sinus, or also known as your urogenital canal. Going down from there, you're gonna come across this round structure here. This is going to be known as your bulbo-urethral glands. Down from there, you're then going to become, come into the penis. This part of the penis is going to be known as your glands, and then this part of the penis is going to be known as the shaft. You're gonna have this skin that's going to be covering the penis and it's gonna be known as your prepuce or also known as your foreskin. Going back up, you're going to have this structure here, which is going to be known as your testy. Your testy usually sits in your scrotum and it's usually covered by the mesorchium to hold it in place, but it's been removed on this cat. On your testy, you're gonna have this section here, which is going to be known as your epididymis. You have three sections to your epididymis. This part up here is going to be the head. This part here is going to be the body. And this section here is going to be the tail. Going up from there, you're going to have this cord-like structure. It's going to be known as your spermatic cord. Inside this, you have blood vessels and your vas deferens, which you can see down here when it comes out of the cord. This section where the spermatic cord splits and then becomes, then the blood vessels and the vas deferens separates is gonna be known as your ingu inguinal canal. You can tell which of these is the vas deferens by finding the skinniest one, which is gonna be this one right here. The vas deferens is then going to continue and attach to glands to provide nutrients and lubrication to the sperm. And that's going to be your deep urogenital anatomy of the cat.